Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 60th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to see how we can query a database in MySQL using PHP. So in the last tutorial we learned how to connect to a database uh, in MySQL through PHP and uh, you know I hope this code seems familiar because you know we use the MySQLI underscore connect function to connect to the database and we saw that this function takes in four arguments so the first one is a host name which uh, in most cases for us will be localhost and uh, the second argument is uh, the name of the user and uh, the third argument is uh, the user's password and the fourth argument is uh, the database to which you want to connect so we connected to the student database and uh, in this tutorial we are going to query a table within the student database and uh, we know that we have uh, two tables in uh, the student database uh, the first one is student underscore info and the second one is the courses table which we made like a couple of tutorials ago so you know this has to be the first step whenever you are trying to query a database in uh, you know using php so you have to first connect to the database and only if you know you've connected successfully you will be able to proceed and actually query you know one of the tables or views uh, in the database so you have to use a mysqli underscore connect function and uh, in this uh, script I don't have the else part that I had so you know from line number 1 to 11 you know the code is exactly the same as it was in the last tutorial except that I don't have the else block here because I do not want to display a message in case we have connected to the database successfully uh, instead I just want to proceed and uh, query the database so you know I have uh, the HTML tag on line number 12 and then further down here on line number 17 I have uh, another opening PHP tag so the next thing that you have to do after you've connected to the database is you have to write your SQL you know whatever query you want to execute so in this case we're just going to pull out the information that's there in the student underscore info table you know so all the data that's there we're gonna get all of that out and uh, we're gonna do that using a simple select star from uh, student underscore info query and uh, you know for convenience sake we're going to save this query in a variable so we're going to write it uh, and put it within double quotes so we're going to save it as a string in a variable called sql and you can call this variable whatever you want you know but uh, in this course i'm going to use uh, sql as a variable name for uh, you know holding queries and i'm going to use res as uh, the variable variable name for holding the result set that we obtain after the execution of queries and you know this is actually standard to a certain extent because i've seen a lot of people use these uh, variable names for these two things respectively so uh, you know you save your query in a variable and the next thing that you have to do is use another php uh, mysql handle function and you know this one's called mysql i underscore query so we used mysql i underscore connect to connect to the database and now we're going to use mysql i underscore query to execute our query and this function takes in two arguments the first one is uh, the name of the connection variable and uh, this is dollar con for us and uh, you know this is the variable in which we save the result of the connection when we use the mysqli underscore connect function so you know you can see here on line number six i created this variable and uh, you have to pass in this variable as uh, the first argument and the second argument has to be the variable that holds your query you know the sql that you wish to execute so that for us is uh, dollar sql so that goes in here as the second argument and uh, the next step is to check whether this query was executed successfully or not and uh, by that i mean you know we want to know if there are any syntax errors or you know something's wrong with our query or not and uh, we're going to do that uh, do that obviously using the if statement so you type in if and then you type in your not operator or the exclamation symbol and then you type in the variable that holds your result set so that in our case uh, is dollar res so you type in this and if there was nothing saved in this variable then it means that there was something wrong with the query so in that case we're going to use the die function and just display the message query failed and we're going to end the script execution so we're going to stop right there and we're not going to proceed further so you know that's why we've used the die function here and not echo and if that wasn't the case that is if the query was actually processed and if uh, a result set was obtained and successfully saved in the variable dollar res then we're going to move to the while statement that i have here on line number 24. so you know this while statement has uh, another uh, function you know and this one's called mysqli underscore fetch underscore row 
so you know i can understand that learning all these functions and you know their respective applications can be a little tricky in the beginning but then you know i would suggest just write them down on a piece of paper and keep them with you and uh, very soon you know if you would use them frequently you would understand which function is used for uh, what so you use this function to copy one row from the result set uh, in one single iteration so that's why we've used it with the while loop so in the first iteration you know one row will be taken from the result set that is saved in the variable dollar res and it will be copied to another variable called dollar row right so that's why uh, at the beginning of the condition you see dollar row equals we have an assignment operator here and then the name of the function mysqli underscore fetch underscore row and as an argument to this function we passed in the name of the variable which holds our result set so that is dollar res and uh, you know in the first iteration the first row will be copied to the variable dollar row in the second iteration the second row will be copied so if there are you know 1500 uh, rows in the result set then there are going to be 1500 iterations for the while loop and if there are just two rows or one row then you know we're going to have just uh, two or one iterations so Inside the body of the while loop, I have used the function var underscore dump. And this function, you know, simply just, you know, dumps the content of uh, a variable on the screen, you know, and it like, you know, doesn't format it at all. It just tells you the data type and, you know, the data type of the content of uh, the, you know, uh, variable as well. So if you get an array, then it will tell you, okay, you know, there are six elements in the array and, you know, the first element of, is of this type, the second element of, is of this type. So, you know, it, it it's just like really bad at formatting. But anyway, we just want to see, uh, you know, how the result looks like if we use this function. So that's why we have it here. And then I've also used the echo statement to echo out a couple of break tags and also a horizontal rule to separate the result sets, you know, in case we get more than one. And uh, then finally on line number 29, I have uh, the last new function that we're going to check out in this uh, script. And this one's called mysqli underscore free underscore result. And uh, this function as an argument takes in the variable in which you have your result set. And uh, it's important to have this function because sometimes your result sets can be too big, right? And uh, when you get them to your uh, server, you know, uh, the place where you're processing your PHP, you know, if you keep on accumulating uh, all the result sets, then they can actually lead to, you know, your server getting slower with time. So it's important to use this function and free, uh, you know, the data once you've used it, you know, once you've displayed it on the screen, you don't need it any, any longer. So, you know, it makes sense to use this function and just free the memory. And uh, that's it. The last thing that we have in the script is we have used the MySQLi underscore close function to close the connection because we don't need it any longer. And this is something that we did in the last tutorial too, you know, in which we just connected to the database. So anyway, now I'm going to show you the output of the script. So I'll go to my browser and I uh, executed the connection script in the last tutorial. I'm just going to uh, look for query.php instead. And this is the output that we get. So, you know, as you can see, it really looks ugly. You know, we see that we get two rows. So, you know, uh, originally we had just one row of data in our student underscore info table. But, you know, just for this uh, tutorial, I inserted another row. And, uh, you know, that's for Alex and uh, Alex's ID is two, Alex's mail, and this is Alex's email address. And this is Alex's state of birth. And, you know, uh, the course for which Alex has enrolled is, uh, you know, has the ID two. And of course we have the row for John. So in the next tutorial, we're going to see how we can, you know, improve the, you know, just how this thing looks, you know, because at the moment it looks very dull and you won't want your users to see all this information, you know, this is at best for our knowledge, you know, whether uh, ID is of uh, string type, what's its length and, you know, John, male, all these things. We want this to be presented in a much more neat and meaningful way. So we're going to see how we can do that in the next tutorial. But uh, this was one way of getting data from uh, a table in MySQL. And this is, you know, the standard way actually. And uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to learn more tricks and uh, we're going to see how we can improve the formatting of this as well. So I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, take care.